Hey everyone, this is Jay. I'm gonna make a quick video here, which is hopefully part of a series I can start doing, where I just post a weekly recap of everything that happened. I know these videos will get better over time, but um, they should just be quick, short, and sweet, and we'll kind of go over things together. You know, any updates from me is work's been really bad these past two weeks. Um, I've got one more really bad week expected ahead, and then. Um, my schedule should be much better for the next foreseeable future, so yeah, just bear with me as I get through the next few, next week or so, and then things should be chilling out. I'll be posting a lot more trades, uh, streaming every night and whatnot, so. Um, so yeah, let's go through some things real quick. So for our first thing, let's start with Bitcoin, right? So let's zoom out and see where we really came from here. So if we go to the four hour... You know, looking back to November, you know, when we were back in the 60Ks, we've continually made, you know, lower highs and lower lows since then. And things have not changed, right? Um, so right now, we're, we are getting closer to a bottom than we are, um, you know, so I'd be looking for more longs than it would be shorts at this point. Um, let's see here. So if we zoom in, we are at our previous range up here. Sorry, right here. In our 20k range so what happened here so we were trading this range quite nicely but if you really look at it, this is just a perfect you know descending triangle of some sort All right we had our long here at 20k which did wick in our top one did and if you were if you did put one a little bit higher you would have wicked in twice but this is a very uh, like a profitable trade here and then we got to the end of our uh, descending triangle here and we filled all the buy orders at the support area right here in around 20k and we dropped right through it to our next major support um, so as we came down we just kind of you know bounced off each support came back up and whatnot so right now we're at 19.6 it looks like we are forming some kind of symmetrical triangle here triangle here actually and this range, this triangle might actually be in play still. Might be in like this, this trend line. So where are we going next? Well, we're gonna have to flip 20k. Um, this this major line up here. It's actually like 202 is really the the real support. 202. If we flip 202, then you know we might have a chance to to remain above it. But um, otherwise, I would expect some kind of rejection at 202. Um, but we'll talk about that when we look at TRDR here in a second. So where would we be going next? So if we do see a rejection at that, you know, our old levels have been coming in pretty clutch here. Let's go to our daily here. So if we go back and we do our volume profiles for our previous ranges, which I already have marked over here. Okay. Um, I'd like to focus on these 2020 levels here, which is for most of 2020, um, for this entire range. We have a pretty major POC here right at 10.01, or sorry, 10.1. Um, and then the whole cycle of, of 10K is gonna be pretty big. So I would not, I would not expect a um, slow drop through this area. The only time we would go through 10K would have to be a very fast, rapid drop. Maybe some kind of Godwick of some sort. Um, but yeah, the first time going to this level, I would expect a pretty strong bounce here. Um, otherwise, these other key levels up here, you know, 11.6 is going to be pretty strong as well. Anything in here, the, the 12 to 11.6 areas. Um, seems like there's a lot of good volume in that area. Let me pull up my volume. Yeah, see, you can see over here, 11 to 11.6, somewhere in here, a lot of strong volume. And then this 10K area, like I was saying, major POC in here, very strong. I would not expect, you know, just to mosey on down to this. It's going to be pretty strong in that area. Now, before we get down to that area, if you look back, you remember when we talked about this, coins that go up really fast are going to come down really fast, right? Because there's no volume in this area. We whip through, you know, we go through it so fast that there's no volume there. That's exactly what we see on the way down, right? So here, you can see there's no volume in this area. You know, nothing. Very little bit right here. Very little bit. And we did have a little bit of a stutter right there. But you expect these areas to kind of, you know, go down just as fast as these areas. And that's what we did. So now we're back to this range here, which if you look at this range in here, there's decent volume in this area, right? 
no volume in this area. And that's why we went down really fast, just as we went up really fast. So I would expect, you know, maybe some sideways action in this area, this 18, 17K. Maybe we see one of these again, you know, like a little sideways action before continuing down again. You know, it's really tough to say. Time will tell, you know, where we go next. Um, but if we do go down, we might see some sideways in 17, 18K, and then, you know, continuing down here to 11, 10K. And that's where we're going to have a pretty you know, strong balance. This is the area I would be targeting if we, you know, get through the... Um, 17 18k area okay um, so we had our first trade here and it was pretty profitable thanks for everyone for sharing your trades on uh, the profits channel I really enjoy seeing those um, it's pretty cool to see so let's go through some of our other trades that we posted so our serm I don't even know what this coin is SRM coin long this is more of a risky trade that was just kind of you know based on this this pattern that we had here I'm um, playing out So this is more based on, you know, th this pattern that we had here, this like kind of falling wedge and reversal. You know, it's really tough to say that, you know, where the bottom is going to be for any coin, but it's tough to say where the bottom will be for some of these altcoins because Bitcoin is what is a large part of the market share, right? So if Bitcoin dumps, then some of these trades, it's not going to matter the volume and where the areas are for these coins because Bitcoin is going to predominate where these coins go. Okay. So that's it. That's something key to remember. Okay. It, if I have a, you know, if I've posted a trade or I'm going to be buying, you know, some coin at $1, but Bitcoin is just tanking, you know, down 30%, then, you know, the coin where I posted a, a buy at, which is like 2% down, it's, it's not going to hold. You know, so, you know, following, following my levels, they're obviously not financial advice, but I want to be clear that it does take some critical thinking on your part. Okay. You should never follow somebody blindly. I feel like I'm a very trustworthy person. Maybe I'm biased. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, profit off anybody here. I'm trying to teach and you know make people better traders so in that sense I don't have some kind of hidden agenda obviously and I think that makes me a little more credible than most people and the fact that I'm doing this just you know out of passion and for a hobby but at the same time you still should not put all of your money into some of these trades you should do your own critical thinking and examine like hey is this is this trade gonna hold or not you know and I can tell you when Bitcoin is you know doing something like this okay something like this it doesn't matter what the other coins levels are okay because those other local levels for these other coins are not gonna hold if Bitcoin's tanking like this okay so if you see Bitcoin tanking watch your trades you know if you have an xlm long that's like one percent below you know the current level it's probably not going to hold if bitcoin's tanking five or six percent right so you know i don't think that's be said but you know um just want to make sure that's very clear okay now with that said i when i post levels in our discord i'm mindful of you know bitcoin going down Okay, so a lot of these levels that are posted in here are taking into account Bitcoin dropping really hard. That's why these levels are, are much lower than the current prices. They're major levels, but they're also taking into account, let's say Bitcoin does drop to, you know, 18K or not 18K, 8K or 10K. These levels are taking that into account. Okay, because... You know, the best game plan is like preparing and preparation. There's some kind of inspirational quote out there. I don't know, but, um, you know, the best, the best plan is to be prepared. And that's what this is, right? So some of these doomsday levels, these are in the event that if shit really hits the fan and we go down to 8K, you know, we have these levels, you know, in place and we're prepared, right? 
So let's go through some of these as well. So our current, we're going to go through some of these money printers and how they did and if they hit or not. Most of them did not um, because we, I still you know, feel like we're going to be going down. But um, So we had our EGLD long at 25, 27. Um, this is like an all-time POC for EGLD. It's a very, very strong level um, for, for uh, EGLD. Yeah. Okay. So 25 to 27, you could leverage or um, just kind of lot of your entries in that area. You know, this is again another strong level right here that we just tapped right here at 37. And you can see, look at the bounce on that. All right. So very strong bounce. Okay. So our next is going to be anywhere between 25 and 27. Our POC is actually at 26, but look at all this nice juicy volume in here. Okay. Next is going to be our uh, dot. We have a dot long at 530, 535. Again, a very strong level. This was our prior um, November VAL. Uh, this is going to be a strong bounce area. And again, this is taking into account if Bitcoin keeps going down. You know, this is where I think if Bitcoin keeps going down, this will be like a potential, um, you know, long term bottom for this coin. So our EGLD did not hit, our DOT hit, our ENS did not hit either. Again, taking into account that, you know, Bitcoin does go down so much more. Um, but this is a very strong level, it's relatively untested. You know, we haven't been below this, you know, May 12th was when we were here at 7.3. But going back even further, I don't know if this, this chart even has the data for that, nope. But looking at another chart, um, I did see some data back here. This is a nice psych level as well. Um, and we are consolidating right above it. It's also a pivot as well. Our people long, so our people long did hit, um, but this was more of a local bottom. So, as you're aware, I've been, you know, kind of bullish on this coin. Um, you know, posting about it. It's, you know, watch us along this week. That was last week, and this had an amazing week. So this coin's been doing quite well, and um, you know, I recognize that, and so I expect this to do to respond quite well. However, again, it's tough to say when the bottom's going to be in when Bitcoin's tanking, and that's what happened here. So I posted a long at two. And you can see it had a very strong bounce here. You know, it did quite well at two. You could make a profit off this. Now I did not, I took a loss on this coin, right? My stop loss hit somewhere over here. Okay. Um, but you know, it was a very strong level, but again, Bitcoin just kept tanking. And this coin actually did quite well considering Bitcoin tanking. It didn't really drop as much. Um, but yeah, it did go down to the next uh, key level, which was 1.9. Wow, what a strong bounce, though. So I would watch this coin. Uh, <clears throat> I'd watch for it to make a higher high here. And then our next one, we did EGLD, or it would be XLM. XLM, again, taking into account. Bitcoin's gonna keep going lower. This is a very strong level, 9597. This is a not only a pivot, but our past August um, through October of 2020 VAH. There's a lot of good volume in this area, so I expect a pretty strong bounce if we keep going down here. Now, if Bitcoin starts going down, you can start putting these orders in, or you can just leave these orders in and because you never know when Bitcoin's going to go down. For me, preferably, I just leave these orders in. Um, you know, I just let them sit there. Right now, I have, I think, um, 12 pending orders. So I have two or three um, entries for each of these trades that we're talking about. Um, I did take a, um, a really small loss on the CIRM. I have to look at what it was. I think it was like five bucks or six bucks. And then on the people one, I took like an eight dollar loss in that one. That one hurt. I was I was confident in that trade, but the way that the drop happened, 
it was at like 2 a.m. my time, so it was a little hard to um, to really like you know watch a trade and everything. Um, but that's okay because you know, overall we're doing quite well. The other trades um, that I've posted, so the other trades have not hit. Um, those other two were stop losses, um, and then just uh, some advice is. If Bitcoin's tanking, you know, like I can help with teaching how to trade and posting key levels and stuff. But, um, you know, some things are quite obvious like this. When Bitcoin starts tanking like this, it, you know, throw on a short somewhere, okay? Like throw on a short, it, you know, just look back at where we've come from, right? I mean, we've been here and we've been in November and this is all we've done since November it's likely when we start going down we're gonna keep going down we've gone through all these key levels so throw in a short if you see that we're starting to go down pretty hard throw in a short okay so my my trades yesterday or two days ago when we started to go down it was like when we lost that key level at 20k or whatever it was um, you know, I threw in a short somewhere, a 20x short, and um, on BTC and ETH. So those were each like, one of them was up, I think, 150 bucks. Check here, let me see. Yeah, one was 120 dollars, the other one was 75 dollars. So pretty profitable on those. Um, So those are both each um, um, good trades. Sorry about that. So where we're gonna be going this week, uh, we already talked about that. Um, Again, I have one more week of a pretty crazy work schedule. Um, I'll be posting a lot more trades though throughout the week. Um, uh, please post any questions you may have. I'd be happy to answer them. Sorry for a bit of the rambling here at the end, but um, these will get better and quicker and shorter and sweeter as we go on. Anyway, um, please feel free to message me with any questions. I'll see you guys.